It's okay, you guys. Everybody's just okay. Welcome back to my channel. That was a clip from Bianca's mom live yesterday. She states that Bianca is okay. On the next clip that I'm playing, it's Henry, Hank and Henry, going live a couple of days after Bianca's incident. Please watch to the end. Thank you. People don't know how to communicate how they're sorry. They don't know how to communicate their wrongs. And some people don't know how to communicate their anger. And so we all need to take a step back and we need to realize what is our end game and how do we work backwards and how do we fix men's. And it's not even necessarily with me because I have nothing to do for this, to do with any of this stuff. But I have no problem being part of it because all I want is the best for everybody. And that's it. And also, you guys gotta know the difference between real and fake. So when you're talking about B, a lot of those images that you see are also totally doctored. Okay? Yeah, those are so fake. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. I, I've been I've been hella more aggressive. I've been hella more aggressive with people than Bianca's ever been. She called me crying. She's your friend, be you're biased because she's your friend. See, okay, so like even this, so look at this. So she's saying you're, you're biased because she's your friend. So I'm literally talking about a situation. See, so somebody like this who says you're biased because she's your friend doesn't care about her people. You don't care about your people, you don't care. And that's honest. Like somebody who still can't get over that hate doesn't care about their people. You don't care about people dying. You don't care about none of it. You're on a hate train. So you're out of this conversation. Do this together. People who are like, you're the then that because you're the friend. You don't care about your people. You don't care about the situation. You're just trying to bring her down. There are people who are like, you're the then that because you're the friend. You don't care about your people. You don't care about the situation. You're just trying to bring her down. It's okay to have these uncomfortable talks. And so it's okay but it's about your end game and what you really want to accomplish. Yeah, no, I'm not, first of all, B Bianca's family to me, so I'm not, I'm not dropping her promo code or her, from her PR. That's not happening. That doesn't solve nothing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that and, and have her kids have to suffer for like some shit that could have been just turned into something beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, you know, I have no, I have nothing in this race. I have no horse in this race. And, but the thing is, you shouldn't be team me. You shouldn't be team Bianca. You shouldn't be team whoever, whatever this is. But I just don't get it, you know. But I'm just saying, what a beautiful situation it could have been if people came together and being like, yo, this is a real life situation that's happened to us. We know you fucked up, but is there any way that you can help us shed light on this? so that people don't think the way you think or actually know the true story. But, it, and and if that person said no then, okay, now you have a right to be pissed. But if, but to just go and like being like, don't send a PR, like, but, yeah, see, look at, so share, so share Andres, she don't care. And, and actually, you know, it's funny, I, I have a lot of, I have a lot of friends who are part of the Pachanga tribe and I hit them up and I was just like, can you tell me more? And they're all, yeah, and even they were just like, dude, like, so like this girl, Cher Andrea is like, I'm gonna block her, but like, and I hope, and I, I'm pretty sure most of the people aren't like that, but that's just, oh. And I know because I've been, because people have been trying to cancel her for forever. They've been doing so many fake, I'm, even I, like, God, we talked about this so much. I, I don't know, women hate women. I don't know what it is about that. And we gotta stop that cult. We gotta stop that trend. So, you know, and the thing is like, at the end of the day, like, I don't have to say shit. I don't have to care about shit. I have my own shit I gotta care about. So, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're gonna come on here, like, bitch, gain an ally. Don't, don't gain somebody, just don't give a fuck. Don't know how to deal with kid shit. Like, if you wanna have real talk, that's fine. But that little kid shit, I can't do that. Oh, no, but the thing is, what kind of reaction are they getting from me? A losing one. People want, people always want me to get mad, but I don't get mad. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, there, like, like, there's really nothing that can really, like, aggravate me on this. It's just disappointing. When you could take a situation and make it beautiful, People are just deciding to just, I don't know, cancel? Bitch, I'm not a, first of all, you guys, I'm not a nice person, bitch. Don't forget that. I'm not a nice person. Don't forget that. I'm a bitch. I'm a fucking asshole. You think I'm gonna come on a new live and fucking care about what fucking some random fucking dumb bitch ass out says? Fuck her. You ain't part of this live, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. I ain't that bitch. I ain't that bitch. I don't give a fuck about nobody's feelings here but mine. Period. Some bitch 
And it's gonna come on here and be like, you're rude. Well, fuck your mom. I don't care. Fuck, I don't. You guys got the wrong one, bitch. Bianca and Angelica are nice. I'm not, bitch. I'm like, fuck you, fuck your mom. Hey, fuck your dead grandmother. I don't care. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> They're dead. I don't. Like, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm not, babies, I'm not that person. I'm, I'm, I'm a fucking grown-ass man. I'm 34 years old. Who does bomb makeup than your favorite? Fuck you. You know what's funny is because whenever I do that, people always DM shit and be like, I can't believe you said that to me. I hurt my feelings so bad. Like, I don't care. I hope your mom's dead, bitch. Six screen on the floor. I don't care. I'm not that person, baby. I'm not like some, like, little faggot-ass influencer who's here to, like, care about your mom. Or your family. I'm not about your daddy. I don't care if he touched you. I don't care about nothing. I care about my, my night owl and that's it. Are you, sh are you okay? See, and see how they run away? So triggered. I'm probably gonna get some bad Yelp review. Oh, baby, I've never cared. Never cared. I was homeless before I got my investment to have my company. I was fucking super. Bitch, you think I care about me? <laughs> I don't have to do anything to anybody. I don't owe you anything. I don't owe your dead mother sitting in a fucking grave shit. Period. I don't owe you. I fuck your dead grandmother. I don't care. Fuck her. I've done nothing to you. And that's why I say that. The thing is, like, I'm also not a nice person. So if I were to meet that person, I would probably, I'd probably tell my friends to fucking jump you. And I would probably sit down and watch them beat your ass and fuck you up and still laugh about your dead mom. Because I'm not a nice person when it comes to people like that. Me and my sister have been through, so shut the fuck up. How about yo, that? Yo, you better get <laughs> the fuck out. <laughs> but I will find I've been going out. live for going on four years now, and you guys have no idea. Literally, none. No idea. No clue, nothing what at all. Speaking on to y'all don't know nothing about. So, keep on speaking. Get the fuck out.